guys welcome this is Yohan in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this super soft and cozy fleece sweatshirt I don't know about you but I love fleece fabric it is so warm so soft and so comfortable it is also available in variety of colors and very very affordable so the pattern that you're gonna need from this tutorial will be from your favorite sweatshirt so if you have one laying around in your closet pull that out I'm going to show you how you can trace the pattern out of it I'm also going to show you how to embellish uh, this sweatshirt with a hand stitch applique the one that I have right here um, this is just a great way to add uh, extra extra style in it so your sweatshirt look a little less loungy where you can dress it up or dress it down I'm also going to teach you how you can work with fleece fabric or stretchy fabric in general using a conventional sewing machine. Alright, so enough of me talking, let's get started. To create the pattern of this sweatshirt, first you want to prepare your tracing paper. I'm using the Swedish tracing paper here. I'm just gonna unroll this and place it on my table and put some tape just to keep it in place just like so then you want to take your existing sweatshirt and fold it in half then fold the sleeves towards the bodies just like so so you can get to trace the armhole we're going to first trace the front bodies here all right so I'm just gonna start from the center this is gonna be my center fold you don't have to be too precise I'm just gonna try your best to get the outline of this body piece and then later on we can work on truing up the pattern since the front neckline is lower than the back neckline what you're gonna do is to uh, fold the back neckline a little bit out of the way so you get to trace the front neckline all right now once you get to the armhole area just try your best to trace the seam line here then we're going to continue on tracing the side seams, then the hem area as well. Alright, now we're going to work on truing up the pattern a little bit. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw a straight line from the side seam. So I'm just going to connect from the armhole to my uh, hem line here. Because when I drew it, it was kind of like curved and that's not what I want. Then I want to curve that hemline a little better here using my styling ruler. And also you're going to make sure your center fold is straight. Then I want to smoothen up my armhole and the neckline as well using my styling ruler as well. Alright, so if you can see here, I trim off an inch away from the previous neckline then i drew a new neckline this is going to be for the allowance for the neck bands all right once you're happy with your bodies go ahead and write down front bodies here then don't forget to draw the grain line obviously this is going to be cut on fold so that's how you're going to draw your grain line then go ahead and draw the seam allowance I use half an inch of seam allowance in my pattern once you've done that you're gonna go ahead and work on your back bodies so here is my back bodies I've already traced it exactly the same as I did my front bodies what you're gonna pay attention to is you want to make sure that your side seam and the shoulder seam of your back bodies and your front bodies are the same measurement if they happen to be different go ahead and adjust it accordingly now we're gonna start tracing our sleeve pattern so just lay one of the sleeve 
flat just like so and trace that all around Now fold your sleeve to where you can see the seam of the armhole and then trace that. And then you're going to end up with something like this. And if you see here, I've already added my seam allowance. And also I trim off the sleeve a little shorter as an allowance for the cuffs. Now we're going to move on and cut our pattern pieces. As you can see here, I lay my pattern on on my fabric which is on fold then I use my rotary cutter to cut my pattern all around obviously you can use a scissor as well so whatever you're comfortable with this is just a matter of preference all right now we're gonna work on the applique so prepare your body piece and set that aside for now all right so the fabric that you're gonna need for making the applique will be a jersey knit fabric or any kind of stretchy fabric you don't want to use woven fabric because that's going to fray and it's not going to work for this project then you're going to use a disappearing fabric marker and just draw simple leaf, leaf shapes in different um, sizes so you can draw small or big um, whatever you prefer obviously if you have other design in mind for example pole carrot or paisley you can do that instead so it's totally up to you Then you're going to cut these uh, using your applique scissor. Then you want to arrange your appliques on your front body piece. I ended up using 14 appliques. You can go more or less or arrange it in a different manner. It's totally up to you. Then you want to pin them in place. Then we're going to stitch this by hand. So take your embroidery needle and embroidery thread that is contrasting with your applique. Um, I'm using black right here with three strands. Then you want to go ahead and start doing a simple running stitches. So first I'm going to knot my thread and then I'm going to start with this one right here. So I'm just going to put my needle through it's like an eighth of an inch from the edge right there and start my running stitches. Alright, so here I have finished my first applique, so I want to continue on and finish the rest. Alright, once you've got all of your appliques sewn on the bodies, we're going to start constructing our sweatshirt. Now place your front body piece and your back body piece right side together and then you're gonna pin the shoulder seams in place and we're gonna go ahead and sew them. Okay, the needle that you're gonna need is the stretch needle, size 9014. You will also need to use walking foot for this project. I highly recommend because this will make um, sewing with fleece or stretchy fabric in general a lot easier. If you're a quilter, you may have it on hand. If you're not, go ahead and purchase one. This is a great investment. Every sewing machine manufacturer make one or you can also buy the generic one, which is cheaper the one that I have right here since we are working with stretchy fabric we're gonna use zigzag stitch so I'm gonna set up my sewing machine here and then 
I will set up the stitch to be narrow and the distance to be a little closer. And then we're gonna go ahead and start sewing our shoulder seams. If this is your first time, you may wanna do uh, test sewing using scraps just to make sure that you get it right. Sometimes you may wanna loosen up the tension a little bit. So yeah, just do some testing before you sew the actual garment. And this is how my stitches turn out. So nice and neat and stay stretchy. Then go ahead and press the seam open. Alright, once you've got your shoulder seams sewn together, we're gonna work on the sleeves. Now take one of the sleeve piece and you wanna line up this point here with your shoulder seam just like what I'm doing right now and then you want to pin that in place you also want to make sure that they are right side together okay and then you want to go ahead and pin all around the armhole matching up with the sleeve And once you've done pinning, you're gonna go ahead and sew this with half an inch of seam allowance. Alright, and this is how it should turn out. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do the same with the other one. Once you've got both of your sleeves attached, we're gonna go ahead and work on the side seams. So pin them right side together, just like so. And we're gonna work on both the bodies and the sleeve side seam as well. Alright, when you get to the point where the armhole and the side seam intersect, you want to make sure that your armhole seam is facing towards the sleeve. And then we're gonna go ahead and sew them together with half an inch of seam allowance. Alright guys, once you've got to the armhole area here, maybe a little bit bulky, so you just want to go slow, just like so. Use a couple of hand shank if it is really hard to go through, just like what I'm doing here. And then once you get to the intersection, you want to raise your presser foot and pivot your fabric towards the direction of the sleeve. And then you want to get started sewing again. Next we're going to work on the neckband. So to determine the length of your neckband, you need to take the circumference of your sweatshirt neckline and then multiply it by 0.8 then you want to add one inch for the seam allowance and that's going to be the length of the neckband that you need to cut then however much uh, the finish width of neckband that you desire you want to multiply that by two and then add one for the seam allowance so in this case if you wanted your neckband to be one inch that means the width of the neckband strip that you need to cut will be three inches I actually did a little bit of mistake here I cut my neckband only two and a half inches wide therefore I'm gonna end up with three quarter inch of um, neckband which is fine by me now fold your neckband in a half right side together just like what I'm doing right now here 
pin that in place if necessary and then we're gonna sew this with half an inch of seam allowance so here's my neckband already sewn and pressed open in order to distribute your neckband evenly we're gonna first gotta find the quarter points on the neckline and to do that you're just gonna match the shoulder seams here And you want to find that center fold of the front and the back piece right there then I want to take my scissor here and give it a little snip just to leave a mark right there you can also use pin if you prefer and then you want to do the same with your neck band find those quarter points and the then mark it with a little snip from your scissor now fold your neckband in half we're gonna start from the seams here and then you wanna place this one on the center back right side together just like so then you wanna take a pin or sewing clip here to keep it in place then you want to continue on and match all the quarter points of your neckband to the neckline. Then we're going to go ahead and sew this with the half an inch of seam allowance. Since the neckband is a slight smaller than the neckline, so what you're gonna do is you're going to pull your neckband slightly as you sew. Simply pull the neckband just enough so it will lay flat with the neckline. And here is my neckband already sewn. It's nice and stretchy, also it lays flat. So with the same method that we just did with the neckband, you want to do the same with the calves and the hemband. You may also hem them instead, so simply fold your garment in half an inch and then sew all around with the narrow zigzag stitch or double needle. Um, if you have any question at all, please leave me a comment down below. I would gladly answer your question. And please thumbs up if you like this tutorial. And also consider subscribing because I make weekly um, sewing and crafting videos. So I shall see you next time. Goodbye!